What's the worst thing someone tried to correct you about something you're specialized at? My wife has a friend who studied zoology who once told me that cows can't run or jump. I grew up with them. I more than once had to run after or away from them after they had jumped a fence. Cows are fucking fast when they want to be. Our neighbors had a cow who learned how to kneel down and crawl across cattle guards. She roamed the area for years, couldn't be contained. Wrote software for a large, interactive art piece. It was presented in such a way that it encouraged self-discovery of how it was used, but it wasn't difficult and most people picked up on the main operation of it very, very quickly, as it should have been. There were three stations that interacted together but separated by some distance. I see some guy very flamboyantly operating the device, it created music, lights and fire, and explaining how it works to a small crowd around him. I'm intrigued so I walk over to hear him. He's figured it all out and basking in the adulation of those around him. But, he's wrong. Like, way off. So, after listening a bit, I gently, and politely, point out how it differs from what he is saying. He looks around at his crowd, and tells me I'm way off and don't get it, that I just don't understand. This is more perplexing because simple operation and observation contradicted what he was stating. Anyway, I again, politely, explained a bit more to further illustrate where he was wrong. He told me I just didn't know what I was talking about. I hesitated and considered just thanking him and walking away, but then thought better of it. I looked at him and told him I wrote the software for what he was doing and had been writing and running it on my laptop at home every night for the last six months. The crowd's attitude changed, people thanked me, and I wandered off. It was weird how invested that guy was in being right and the center of attention. At least he was polite at the end. I work in lightning protection here in the States. I do the estimating and the designs for the largest company in the Southeast. Half are going on seven years. Certified through our industry certification company. The amount of engineers and architects that love to argue with me about the code is astounding. I live that code. Being I estimate and design systems, my main job is to know that code. The worst was the Army Corps of Engineers. We had a project that their designer designed that was in the bid package drawings. Pretty standard, pick out the materials requested and ignore the incorrect design. That is how we bid it, won it, and designed it. This would have provided them with a fully certified system. In our business, a UL Master Label certification is as close to a requirement for every job as anything can be. Two weeks after we submit our design it comes back with a revise, resubmit stamp, and a very snarky demand from the core that we change our design to the one provided in the bid package. I went back and forth on email and calls with the engineers trying to explain to them that their system would not work, was potentially a dangerous hazard, and ultimately could not be certified or warrantied. The came back basically with we don't care what you say, we know better, do it. So I did. Designed exactly like they had and put a disclaimer on the drawing saying there would be issues, and we were not responsible. A few months go by, it's installed and ready for certification. They call the inspector out and he fails it without even getting on the roof. The army is pissed and tried to come back at us. I politely forward the countless email chains to the officer in charge. Now they scramble to get it up to code. As a consequence it resulted in us issuing a change order to bring it up to code that was around 75% of the original cost of the project. Edit, this has also now been posted at our malicious compliance. So go show the love over there and thanks for the advice. Thank you for the silver. I didn't specialize on it, but when I worked at the deli in my local grocery store I had a guy come in asking for some sliced ham. I asked him if he wanted black forest ham, honey baked or mesquite ham. He looked at me and said it's not mesquite, it's mestique. I pointed at the sign and label, on the actual effing ham, that said mesquite ham, but he still corrected me. I gave up and gave him his damn mestique ham. This was a good 15 years ago, and I'm still mad about it. My hometown is Mesquite. That cracks me up. I'm gonna start calling it Mestique. 
I'm a professional pastry cook. The GM at my new job tried to reteach me how to crack eggs. There's a right way to crack eggs? Crack them on something flat rather than on the edge of something. No chance of breaking the yolk prematurely since you don't have an edge to pop the membrane keeping it whole. A new house gets built next door to mine, and shortly after the owners move in, they knock on my door to complain that my house is built too high. I explain that my house was, is built on flat ground and their builder has built their house lower and undercut my fence. The guy proceeds to give a long-winded spiel about how earthworks are done and my house is too high and I have to fix it. I then explain that I do earthworks for a living, have done the earthworks for 300 plus houses in my suburb alone, and around 1200 in the local area. I name his builder, site supervisor, engineer, the exact floor levels in the street, and the law that says that he has to pay to fix my fence. He still hasn't paid, and legal procedures are beginning soon. Edit 1. Earthworks in this case is the removal of topsoil and any mud, clay, organic matter from beneath where the house is going to go and replacing it with clean compacted sand, trimmed dead flat to within 10 mm. Edit 2. Because his block was lowered and leveled to suit his engineer, he is responsible for retaining the land around him, which is now higher than his. Edit 3. I was prepared to let it slide, because his place being lower now helps my drainage in heavy rain. But when he wanted me to pay for his retaining wall responsibility, and would not pay for his half of the fence, I decided that I had enough bluster and bullshit. Time to pay up. I got shut down by this actually. I was arguing with my cousin while we were in an old hydraulic elevator. I said the hydraulic elevators are slow, crap and have far more failures than cable elevators. The guy standing across from us laughs, shakes his head, and says he's an elevator repairman, and that's not true at all. Shamed. 